Making money online has never been as easy as it is today. And with the likes of Amazon, we've got some great ways to get your product to the customer. Now, the question everyone is asking is FBA or FBM the option that should I choose? Fulfillment by Amazon or fulfillment by merchant. Today, I'm going to go through the pros and cons of each of them, explain when and where you might want to use which ones, and give you my personal advice on what I think you should do, maybe if you're starting out and it's not as clear cut as you think. So, stay tuned. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I have been selling on Amazon now pretty much for four years and I'm on a mission to do one and a half, one and a half, one million. I wish I did one and a half. Hey, maybe I will. One million by the end of 2021. I'll drop a link up there and obviously you can see that and learn about my journey. But today, enough about me. We're going to be talking about fulfillment by Amazon versus fulfillment by merchant and what might be the best option for you when it's not that clear. So what are we going to be going through in this video? Let's lift it out now and then let's jump into the content. Okay, so first things first, I am going to talk about FBA versus FBM and give you a brief description of what both of them are. Number two, I'm going to talk about the differences in the size and weight and how that affects your decision to use FBM or FBA. Number three, I'm going to talk about velocity of sales. So whether you're doing a high selling item or maybe a really slow selling item, which one might be better for you, FBM versus FBA. Number four, we're going to talk about costs, fees and of the fee structure. So could it give you information on that. Number five, I'll talk about the time, how long it takes to actually get your product sold and where one and different scenarios that different methods will work better in. So FBM where that works better, and where FBA works better. And six, yeah, we're gonna talk about Prime, Prime membership and how that actually impacts and how you can even take advantage of it even as an FBM seller. So number seven, I'm going to talk from personal experience what I think is better FBM or FBA. So let's get into that now. Right, okay, first things first, FBM versus FBA, fulfillment by Amazon versus fulfillment by merchant. What are the differences? Well, quite simply, the way I understand it and the way it works is these are called fulfillment options, i.e. they are the way you get your product from you to the customer. Now, the two methods are quite simply, fulfillment by merchant, i.e. me, I am a merchant, I'm selling this product, I fulfill the product myself through maybe a third party network, it might be like Yodel, uh, DHL, UPS, and I get that Royal Mail and I get that delivered to the customer. So I would, once an order comes through, I would physically get that order, that product, put it in a box, I'd wrap the box up and then put the label on it, I'd then maybe go down the post office or call the postman to come to my house, and then get that shipped to the customer. And obviously the customer will receive it, sign for it, if it's you know, signed for delivery, and they would receive it that way. That is fulfillment by merchant, me sending it to the customer directly through my own method, through my own means, using a third party network, but not Amazon. Now, FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, is whereby I then take my product, which has not yet sold, by the way, I take my product, I use their approved partner, which is UPS at the moment, ship it from my house, my warehouse, to Amazon's warehouses by using UPS, where it sits and it waits in Amazon's warehouses. Now, quite simply, when the customer orders my product, what happens? Well, one of Amazon's staff members, their employees, is going to take it off the shelf, they're going to put it in a box, put a label on it, and then they will ship it to the customer using the Amazon approved network. Now, the slight difference is, is the fact that Amazon does that last mile, they do the delivery to the customer. So the moment it gets sold, they will do the fulfillment, i.e. fulfillment by Amazon, or if it's me, then FBM will be fulfillment by merchant, i.e. I get it delivered to the customer. That is a quick summary of FBA versus FBM. It's who is delivering it to the customer doing that last moment, Amazon or myself. Okay, so second thing I want to talk about, size and weight. Now, quite simply is when you are shipping your products, you ship them from, if you're using the FBA service, you're going to ship it from you, your house or your warehouse into Amazon, store it there and then ship it on to the customer. Now, quite simply, this means that you are, you know, Amazon are going to charge you fees or, or cost to get it to the customer. Now, because Amazon has massive warehouses, but it also has a lot of customers, the fees that they charge you are a bit higher for the large items, bigger items, 
So you probably want to avoid shipping very large items into Amazon's warehouses because the fees on them are gonna cost you a lot more. You could probably get a more competitive deal by doing it locally, maybe through your own merchant fulfilled. So if you're thinking about selling big items, heavy items, you're probably gonna be better off shipping it directly yourself. Why? Because number one, the fees are probably gonna be about the same for Amazon, also the local network, but also as well on the Amazon side, you're gonna to have to ship it from your house to Amazon's warehouses first, one fee, and then number two, the big heavy items go to the customer, that's another fee. Whereas with Merchant Fulfilled, you're just gonna have the one fee. And Amazon obviously doesn't really want massive big items in their warehouses, they'd probably have smaller ones. So top tip, if it's smaller items, you're gonna be okay. But if it's bigger items, you probably might want to just be careful of them. It's not to say you can't, there is still good money to be made in selling what's known as oversized. That's what Amazon classifies as a big item, oversized. There can be good money being sold in them. But just make sure you're really working out your profits and making sure that it's a good business or viable business for you. Sometimes merchant fulfilled might be better. Okay, so the third thing I want to talk about is velocity of sales, stock turnover within your Amazon business and which distribution model FBM or FBA might be better for you. Well, quite simply, Amazon is looking to get the stock to the customer. It's got massive warehouses, but it's got massive amounts of customers. So it doesn't want to be sitting on stock for a very long period of time. As a result, it does charge you fees and I'll talk about that next. But quite simply for you in your business, what might you be looking at? Well, if you've got high selling, high volume products, which are always constantly turning, think of like groceries, uh, cons health consumables, things like these, they are going to be selling all the time. If you can tell that product is selling fast, Amazon FBA works really, really well for you. But maybe if your product is a bit slower selling, and I know people who will buy a product today and they'll sit on it for six months, then you're probably looking at actually it might be better just to put it in your warehouse, your house, list it on Amazon, maybe at the higher price, you're not expecting it to sell. If it does, not a problem, you can then ship it yourself. But those slower items, that aren't turning so much because of the cost involved in storage, you probably want to distribute them yourself until maybe you're getting closer to that buy box and your sales start picking up. So if you've got big items or maybe items which are really slow selling, you just don't want them sat in the warehouse for a long period of time. Sit them at home, sit them in your own warehouse, save the cost and do them film by merchant because, hey, they're going to take a while. If not, if they are selling even a couple of units per month is fine, you can still use FBA and for those higher volume, higher turnover items. It's just gonna help you with your distribution and getting that product to the customer. Okay, so number four, I wanna talk about fees, costs involved. Now, quite simply, if you are going to be doing FBM, which is you taking the stock, shipping it to the customer yourself, you're pretty much gonna have maybe one fee. And I say that loosely. The fee is gonna be the shipping cost from your house to the customer. That is it, Royal Mail, UPS, doesn't matter. However you get it there, that is the one cost. The hidden cost that maybe you're not thinking about is the cost of the box, the label, maybe the tape to sell or tape it up. There's gonna be lots of other little costs, but you probably won't see it directly in that one shipment. So it's gonna have the one fee, which is shipping it, the shipping fee from Royal Mail or UPS, to getting that to the customer. Now, on the other hand, you've got FBA. Now, quite simply with FBA, you've got two fees that you directly see. Number one is the UPS fee to get it from your house, your warehouse, to Amazon's warehouses. And then you have what's known as the FBA fee to get it from Amazon's warehouses to the customer. Now, the FBA fee will include everything that is needed to ship it to the customer. So that includes things like the box, the label, the man hours to physically put it all together, to pick it, to put it in the box, and then obviously to deliver it to the customer the next day as part of Prime. But the one thing you might not realize is obviously to get it from your warehouse via UPS or house via UPS to Amazon's warehouses, obviously you do need a box as well. So generally speaking from personal experience, when looking solely at the FBA fee versus the fee to do it myself, I've actually found that FBA is cheaper than this fee because I, uh, I couldn't, they do such volume that actually it was cheaper to do it FBA than it was by fulfillment by merchant using a third party courier like Royal Mail. But I think you need to look at that individually on yourself. And if you're doing large items, then certainly that might change. But if you're doing small items, generally speaking, I'd probably say that it's more efficient to do film by Amazon. But there are the fees to think about in that. 
and obviously that's going to have an impact on the operation you choose. Okay, number five, I'm going to talk about time. And this is the one that literally could make or break you and thinking about it. So quite simply, if you are doing FBA, what does, what does that mean in regards to time? Well, quite simply, Amazon is going to store the products in their warehouses. Their staff will pick them, put them in the box, ship them to the customer. What does this mean? This means you do not have to be there. You do not have to be making those shipments when that product gets sold. I see time and time again, so many sellers on uh, Facebook, on sharing journeys about them going down the post office, doing shipments. Now this is great and they make that business model work for them because they are full-time Amazon sellers. But if you have a job, if you have other commitments, sometimes you just can't get down the post office when you need to. And if you can't make that delivery at the right time, that can affect your account metrics because you're not delivering the great customer service that Amazon wants. So, Using fulfillment by Amazon can save you time because you can literally get that product into Amazon's warehouses the moment it gets sold, they will do everything else. That's going to save you time. But now you might ask, that sounds great. How can I, why should I then do fulfillment by merchant? Well, quite simply, it takes time to get from your house into Amazon on sale on, or moved around in the warehouse in Amazon and then on sale. That can sometimes be two weeks. That's quite a while. Whereas fulfillment by merchant, Maybe you found a great opportunity today. You can quite simply get that opportunity. Maybe it's Lego, for example. Buy it today, go home, list it online, have it sold within an hour, and then ship that yourself to the customer. That way you are saving so much time, not having to ship it into Amazon, then wait for Amazon to get it on sale. You literally bought it today, sold it today. What does that mean? It means you can buy and sell your stock quicker. That means you can turn your stock, your money, so much quicker and make more profits. But there is more work. You are having to do more work in this process. So if you're looking at a faster turnover and you have time available, could be fulfillment by merchant. If you have a job, maybe other commitments and you want an easier life, maybe fulfillment by Amazon could be the better option. Two options there and it's time that is going to really impact you and make you think about that decision. Okay, and number six is Prime membership. Now, this is the big thing that Amazon promotes, pushes, really encourages everyone to buy into. And it's a big reason why Amazon is the number one online marketplace right now, or shop anywhere in the world to buy online. So quite simply, what does this mean for you when you're looking at the two fulfillment options? Well, quite simply, Amazon cares about two things, or Amazon cares about the customer experience. And when we talk about the customer experience, it means them getting the right product as quickly as possible. And they encourage that through their prime membership because they control the last mile, that last delivery to the customer, i.e. going from their warehouses to the customer. Now, when you are selling fulfillment by Amazon, you are predominantly going to get what's known as control of the buy box. This is the, the opportunity whereby if there are multiple sellers on the listing, which one actually makes a sale when a customer buys, and it's whoever controls the buy box. Now, the majority of the time, an FBA seller is going to have more control over the buy box at the same price than an FBM seller. There are some nuances, and if you want to know more about the buy box, I'll drop a link to a video up there I've recorded about that in the past. But quite simply, if you are an FBA seller or fulfillment by Amazon, that's how you're doing fulfillment, most of the time you are going to win the buy box at the same price versus an FBM seller because you are Amazon are doing delivery. But if you're an FBM seller, you are going to struggle, especially if you're starting out new, to win that buy box. But it doesn't mean you can't win it. What you're going to need to do is to be significantly cheaper, sometimes maybe 20% cheaper than what an FBA seller is. So if you can source it at a cheaper price, get it sold for a cheaper price and still do that and make profit, then you can still win that buy box, still get those sales. But just be mindful of the fact that you can make more profits generally if you're doing FBA, but there is a bit of a slower lead time because of what we talked about in the last section. Okay, so the big final crunch time has come. FBA or FBM, which one is better? And I'm just gonna say it right now, there is no clear cut answer. There is no better. One is better than the other. It's about what you want to do. And I'll try and give you some good case studies now or examples of when you might want to choose one over the other from my personal experience and also what I've seen from other people. So quite simply, if you are starting selling on Amazon and maybe you're busy, maybe you've got a job, maybe you've got other commitments and you're gonna to struggle to get deliveries done, 
then I would really recommend doing fulfillment by Amazon. Why? Because it gives you the ability to quite simply buy the stock you want, pack it when you have time, and then ship it to Amazon. And then when the customer purchases, they will deal with everything else. There might be some fees in that. There might be some a slower lead time. It takes a while to get that all happening. But quite simply, it just means less pressure, less stress for you. And hey, maybe you're like me and you want to travel around the world, running your business through fulfillment by Amazon, that is going to have a real impact upon your ability to do things remotely or do things at the time that you want them to and have less pressure, less stress. So fulfillment by Amazon is going to be key for that. And I really recommend it. Less stress, do things in your own time. You don't need to be reactive to what Amazon's saying. You've got plenty of time. That's the important thing. So fulfillment by Amazon. Now, when does fulfillment by merchant work better? Well, a couple of examples for you or things you might want to think about. Generally speaking, it's not always, if you're doing big, big items, you can do fulfillment by merchant. That is going to probably be more cost effective because of the fees involved in shipping big items to Amazon and then also storing them in Amazon and then obviously the FBA fee on top of that. Generally, fulfillment by merchant is going to be better. Big items. Now, the other one is if you've got lots of time and you're willing to work really hard. And I do say this because I see some very good sellers who are constantly every single day down the post office, not dropping off a couple. I mean, dropping off bags, lots of big bags of, should we say, deliveries or items that need to be shipped to the seller. If you are happy to do that every single day, pick, pack, ship your items and also source buy a stock as well, then you might look at fulfillment by merchant. Why? Because quite simply, you don't have the lag time, that delay in shipping it to Amazon and getting it on sale. You can buy today, get it listed today on Amazon and maybe get it sold today and shipped to the customer delivery tomorrow. That's just going to turn your money so much quicker and you can make more money quicker. Now, I know we are in this game to make money, but we don't want to die a young death. We actually want to enjoy our lives. So actually having that balance whereby understanding, do I really have the time? And if I do, I'm my merchant. But if I don't have the time, FBA, really good option. Now, the one kind of thing I will say about that, is you can actually go down the FBA option, or sorry, FBM option, and do really good stats. And then what's gonna happen is Amazon will invite you to what's known as the Seller Fulfilled Prime. So one of the advantages of FBA is that you get better control over the buy box, you get that prime badge. But if you are a very good fulfillment by merchant seller, FBM, Amazon will invite you to their Seller Fulfill Prime program. This is whereby you can still ship it from your house, you can get it to the customer quickly, but Amazon will give you that prime badge when you sell on Amazon. And also as well, it means that you are going to be able to compete versus FBA sellers at a much better price point. So there are solutions here that are going to really help you out. They're still going to be profitable. There are obviously bigger costs for seller fill prime, but there's no one size fits all. And it's about you, your business model. And hopefully that has given you a better idea of when you might want to use FBA or when you might want to use FBM. That is a little bit about FBM or FBA versus FBM. Now, what I want to ask you is what fulfillment method are you thinking of? Or maybe you've got some questions around which one you should choose, or maybe something I haven't explained. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know your questions and hey, I'll get back to all of you. But what I will say is maybe you're looking at starting on Amazon and you want to know about the costs involved in it. I'm going to drop a video around here. There's going to be the costs involved starting on Amazon and my top tips to make sure you save money. So watch that video. But what I will say is hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button because obviously you can get more great content like this. But for me, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.